What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. If you have a broken bell on your spinning reel, I've got the solution for you and it's not that much money. So if you ever have a bell that actually breaks on you and it doesn't want to close, as you can see this one right here, it has a spring from here to here. So it's sprung right here when it, all in actuality it should be sprung all the way down so that your bale is closed. So you can see all this right here is free play. So this is pretty common in a spinning reel and there's an easy solution for it. So I'm going to take this down a little bit so that you can see things a little bit better. Alright now that we got some free space to play with, this is super simple. First thing you're going to do is unscrew this screw right here and it needs to be on the line, the side that your line comes out of. Let me loosen that up. Uh, this is very simple underneath here. Uh, don't be intimidated by it. There's literally a spring, a capturing device, and a lever. There's three pieces in here. So what you're going to want to do is take this screw off, and that will release your bell from your spool. So you can see right here, you have a lever right here that pushes up on this lever, okay? Now let me show you what's inside. Well, let me finish this because this will explode once you take this lid off. This piece right here is supposed to have a nipple that comes off of it. So you can see right here, it's flat. There's nothing on top of this. So what has happened is the nipple on top of here is sheared off. Uh, that's a common problem. Another common problem is that nipple will just come out of the groove down here. Right down here you can see there's a hole. Well, right here in the hole you can see that the nipple is stuck in here in mine. A uh, common problem is that that little nipple will either skip over either side and come out of its hole and run in these grooves either side and a simple thing is just to take take that screw out, undo it, and find that nipple to go right back in there to the hole. So here, on this one here, I will open up the side casing on here and show you what's inside. You will want to hold this down with your hand because it will come apart on you. Everything's sprung up inside of there. It's nothing that can't be fixed easily or whatnot, but... Okay, see there sprung apart you got to be careful so this right here this will stop this little piece right here will stop your bell from or your reel from spinning if you have it on lock and this is also what holds all the tension onto your spring so let's look at some parts real quick so as you can see on this part right here there is a nipple off on this side and that will go into a That'll go into the part that's hooked onto your spring. As you can see on this side, the nipple is sheared off. Uh, that's Them shearing off isn't really common, but it does happen. So you want to make sure that you have a nipple on both ends because those do connect on both sides. And what this little end connects to is this, is this little plastic piece right here. Now I think it's metal. I don't really know what it is. At any rate, this little nipple right here goes into this piece and that will allow it to move back and forth as so. And once that's all together, that will go inside your spring. Now what you have is the whole mechanism together and this is really hard to do, sorry. Now what you have is your whole mechanism and you can see how this actually works when your bell opens up, it pushes down like this and it wants to close. So as this moves and cams over like that, this little nipple right here that's broke off will actually close your, your bell over. So that's all there is to it. Most of the time whenever your bell can't shut, all you have to do is just open the side up, find out whether your spring has sprung, broke, collapsed, or anything like that. Make sure that your little plastic piece right here that holds your cam 
has not broken or anything of the sort. Make sure it's still all together and looks as such. And make sure the little cam piece is all together and has both of its sides on it. Now I'm not saying 100% of the reels are gonna be exactly the same, but in theory, they all act just the same. So don't be afraid just to take this door off and find out what's in there because it goes back just as easy as I show you. Oh, one thing I do want to mention, this little part from Abu Garcia is $1 and it costs $7.50 to ship. So this $1 piece just turned into $8.50. But if I was to take this to a real guy that fixes these, it's going to be $20 just for him to work on it, then plus parts. So you're actually saving a lot of money just by doing this yourself. So if my little cam piece was not broke, this is how you would put it back together. Put your side plate back on there. Make sure nothing's getting bound up. Then you are going to take your little nipple capturing piece here that goes inside of your spring. All right, now what we're looking at here is where that actual nipple goes into here. And you see there's a flat side and a curved side. The flat side always wants to go down to the reel. And as you can see over here on the other side, there is a that design on it. That side wants to go to the outside and the long piece will go into your spring. So let me show you that. You just stick that rod down in there. Make sure that the flat side is facing down. Might have to wiggle that around a little bit. Now that you have that in place, there are two ends to this cam piece right here. You see that there's a skinny end and there's a fat end. The fat end is one going to go up to the top and the skinny end is one to go down to the bottom closest to the spring. So you put that little nipple into the holding spot on top of the spring and just push it down in there and that's really hard to do without not getting it on camera, but I'll do my best. As you can see, that slid underneath this piece right here. And if it was working, that's how it would be situated, but it's not, and I have that piece on order. So when you were going to put this back together, Again, what you want to going to do is put the nipple off of that piece up here that's broke into this hole right here. And once you finagle that into place, then your bell will work properly. Then you just want to going to put your screw back on there to tighten it all back up. And once you have it all tightened back up, it all should be working properly, but my piece is still broke. I have a part coming in for that. So once that comes in, this would have been fixed if I would have replaced it with a part. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to fix your bell without sending this off to someone to fix it for you, I hope this video helps you out. If it did help you out, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. and guns.